I've tried a few audio solutions for my pickup truck and none of them have worked out well so far, but I think I might have found the solution now. It's another product by Monster. Check out the other one and why I returned that. And then I did another one as well, but I think this might be the key right here. And I'll tell you in a minute why I think so. So here is a Monster Bluetooth transmitter. And I had a different one, but the reason why I think this one's gonna be better and why I think most of them should be designed that way is that this not only has the cigarette lighter adapter, but most of them have that with a microphone built in. And for my vehicle, the outlet is all the way over here. So the distance between there and where I'm speaking is significant. So the sound quality is not very good. In this case, this one has a cable and has a remote microphone, which I think is gonna solve my problems here. And so just like the other one, this one has Siri and Google activation. Uh, the nice thing again here is this has a button, which I plan to mount somewhere up over here, maybe right over here. So that this way it's kind of nearby where I'm driving and where I'll be speaking. And that's the idea here. Um, this one also has a 3.4 volt USB. So I think it's 2.1 and a one. And over here on the back, you can kind of see all the information on a built-in microphone. They you got your multifunction button, any of all these other things. I'm not gonna read them to you. Go ahead and pause if you wanna see this and you'll see all the information. I'll also link this in the description so you can see the exact unit that I bought and I bought this on Amazon. Um, nothing really important on that side or that side and just the skew and information down below there. And like I say, there's the key to me is having that microphone. So the key question is gonna be if I can make phone calls and people can hear me, then this is a keeper. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, when I open the box, there's the unit and there is the external microphone and multifunction button, which obviously has a phone. There's the microphone right there for focus in. There's the microphone. And the key question is how long this cable is. So we'll see that in a second. Then underneath, here is your instruction booklet. And I think this is gonna be very similar to the other one I had. And if so, I'm gonna be very happy with it so long as people can hear me. That was the reason why I returned the other one. Also has the ability to put a micro SD card and a USB if you wanna do a USB drive to put audio, music, and so on on there, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'll go through all this, but I've already read the instructions on the other one. Okay, and on this device, you see right there the little lightning bolt thing, which tells you that's the charging one, and then this one's for music. So I'm sure you can use this side as well for charging, but it's probably only gonna be one amp or just less power. This one's gonna be the significant, probably 2.1 amp, although it doesn't say that. I like how this kind of has a mirror finish channel, um, play, pause, advance, and rewind track. So we're gonna plug this guy in right now. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, this vehicle has a not live charge outlet while the power of the vehicle is off. So you're not going to get any power while the vehicle is off. So you're not going to drain your battery. You can leave it plugged in all the time. And then the cord here, let's see the length on this. So I want to kind of tuck this up underneath here so it won't be seen. And then when I do that, maybe I can even come over here and come up through this little slit right here and bring this up as high as I can possibly bring it. I'm hoping I'm gonna get to about here. So I'll give that a shot now. Another nice touch about this thing is it actually has Velcro on the back and the attachment is Velcro. So you can put it on and remove it if you need to. Pretty cool, I like that, as opposed to just sticking this on here and having it stuck there. So I did measure it and it will come up right above this stalk. So just kind of right behind my steering wheel where I think my voice would probably be okay there. And then as I said, I can kind of wire this down through here and have plenty of room to do that, which I think would be make it look pretty nice. So now the key question is, how does this sound? Well, I just made my first phone call to my wife and she said it sounded crystal clear like I had the phone up to my face. So this is a winner. I'm gonna play around with it for a while, but on initial review, it's great. Three, Here, she's nine, calling me right now. Three. So interestingly, when you get an incoming call, if you're on Bluetooth, you're going to hear it say the phone number, which is good because if you don't want to look at your phone, you can hear the phone number. 
voice was kind of a little odd and robotic, but that's okay too, I guess. And so, yeah, I set it up on 88.1 and it's working. So I'm going to give you what some music sounds like. I just went on uh, royalty free music on YouTube and we got this two hour synth mix. And so I'm going to go ahead and play that real quick for you. I'm not sure whether or not it sounds great to you, but to me in the vehicle, it sounds awesome. Yeah, I think for sure I got a winner here. So this Monster Bluetooth with the remote microphone is fantastic. Do you have something similar? Are you looking for a solution? What has your experience been with just the ones that plug right into the cigarette lighter? Is yours close enough or you don't really use the car sound? You know, what? what's your experience? And do, would you be looking for something like this? I think I finally found the winner and it was really inexpensive. So that's the one I'm going to recommend because I want to make phone calls from my car. I don't want to just listen to music. So let me know what your thoughts are below and thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.